this exhibition, The Loneliness of the Soul, Tracy Emin and Edvard Munch brings together Tracy's work with, with one of her great heroes, Edvard Munch. And, and Munch, of course, is a, is a, a great figure in modernist art and um, a well-known expressionist painter. Interestingly, they were born exactly 100 years apart. And the exhibition is comprised of about just under two-thirds Tracy's work and the rest Edvard Munch's. And she's been incredibly involved in the exhibition and has selected all of the Munch paintings for it to sit alongside hers. And the exhibition came about because the curator at um, the Munch Museum in Oslo had long been a fan of, of Tracy's work and actually had followed Tracy's career for a few decades. And when she joined the, um, the museum in Oslo um, five years ago, she had a dream to bring the two artists together. And interestingly, you know, she's, she's now in mid-career and the majority of works by her in the exhibition are, are quite recent, mainly paintings. The works by Munch all come from pretty much the same time in his life, so when he was a sort of established, mature artist. And I found that very interesting. But Tracy has, has been very fixed on the, the sort of theme of the exhibition, that it, it's to do with, with loneliness, with loss, with the female, with looking at, at what it is to be a woman. Of course, from her perspective, there's always that element of herself in her work. Although it's not a diary, she talks about her work being a system of thought. She's very present in it. And her deeper understanding of, of her own emotional register is very apparent on, on the canvas. With Monk, he was looking at, at women from a male perspective, of course but he had such a kind of strong emotional engagement with so many women during his life. You see his absolute sympathy for women, that his, he's respectful of them, which is something that she's pointed out again and again in his work, which is, is and she's right. Um, so he shows great respect, but also great kind of tenderness and great understanding of, of the complexity of, of, of being a woman. One of the things that I think completely underpins Tracy's work is her ability to draw. And it's something that I know she, she takes very, very seriously. And she's a real advocate of, of life drawing. And it's something that Monk held very dear as well. And there's a wonderful comparison to be made in the series of watercolors by Monk that Tracy selected of, of female figures. And you can see they're quite, some of them are quite sparsely painted, but you can see his line and his, his ability to create this sense of form, this sense of volume, this sense of a body with very, very few strokes, which is something that she's very skilled at as well. And I think that's something that really kind of underpins their approach to depicting the, the human form. And somehow, for, for me anyway, kind of looking at their work, for them to have this ability to create the sense of the body and the weight of the body on the canvas, then allow, with such kind of assuredness, allows them then to load on that kind of emotional um, complexity onto the figures as well. So I think that's something that, that they really do have, share that ability in common. But Monk was living in a particular time and he was really pushing against the traditions of art. And there's this wonderful quote from him from, um, from 1889, when he says, there should be no more paintings of interiors and people reading and women knitting. There should be images of living people who breathe and feel and suffer and love. I shall paint a number of such pictures. People will understand the holiness of them and they will take off their hats as if they were in church. And I think it's that sense of um, there is something sacred about uh, looking into people's souls. And, and I think both Tracy and, and Monk understand that. And I think that's something that you see very clearly in the exhibition. And yes, there's, there's grief and there's, there's um, loss and all of those are present here. But it's it's strangely uplifting exhibition. It's, it's, it's very cathartic. And I think we all felt that when the show was being hung, that there is this kind of sense of hope and there's this real sense of dignity in all of the figures, you know, that comes out of the kind of honesty from Tracy and from Monk in, in the way that they depict women. And, and that kind of gives that sense of joy as well. So I think that's very present here too.